Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of ChatGPT Plugin Review. It's now episode 6, and I'm not sure if you have noticed that the order has changed again from our previous uh, episode 5. Um, you can maybe check out the cover of that video. Um, the last item that we have tested was Shimmer, right, the nutrition coach, and then it should be followed by that, uh, what is it? Um, let me check. Keymate AI search. And that's gone. And then the next one, um, which is not tested, is speech key. But the order is all, the order is changed here. Okay. The next one open is Vox script. And to see why that is, we have some items removed from the total number actually see um here we have nine pages and each page contains um eight items right then we ha should have uh, 72 items in total if it's filled with everything full but now we have one two three four five subtracted from the 72 which makes it um uh, 70 uh, 67 i'm sorry 67 plugins to deliver by OpenAI instead of that uh, 70 plus that they set in their tweet, right? That is going to roll over next week. We have only 67 now and it's constantly changing. I guess some um, were removed from the list. And if we can check out the unverify uh, plugins, we can see this one. Um, went into the unverified plugins. Um, I'm not sure if this is a place for uh, those plugins uh, which are going to be uh, deprecated. But this one, if you notice from uh, my last video, I said this one is actually not ideal to be uh, here for ChatGPT to use as a plugin. Uh, it would be more ideal if you go to the Pseudoco scratch pseudoco website to use this one otherwise you actually don't know what you are doing and actually the target audience or, or the target user is really narrow for this one i guess it's a good idea to remove it from uh, from the chat plugin batch uh, batch here um but yeah that's the case that's the case uh I feel a bit sorry about this one and also this one. This one is really old. This is from the very first bat batch, uh, which dates back to the end of March. For those who are alpha test users, you might remember this one, Milo Family AI. This one was removed, uh, unfortunately, because actually ChatGPT can take its job to play the role of a a interesting AI which will say some uh, wisdom words and magic words um, yeah so we have to remember not all the plugins are going to stick with us to the end some will be removed along the way okay but we shall move on coming next we are going to text test this one works script Enables searching for YouTube's transcripts, financial data sources, and Google search results, and more. Seems like it's quite a, a mix of the task it's going to do, right? It searches YouTube transcripts and the financial data and the Google search results, and it says and more. I'm not sure what is more, but let's check out what is more. Okay, it's in store. As always, introduce the plugin. Sure, the plugin you are interacting with is called Works Script. It's a powerful tool that allows you to access a wide range of data sources. Here are some of the things you can do with uh, Works Script. I'm not sure whether this one has anything to do with the Vox Media Group. Not quite sure. 
It's called Walk Script. Okay. You can get basic uh, US equity and crypto information. And you can get the current time. Get feedback. Well. You mean we can send feedbacks, right? To you. Walk script. We are not getting any feedback from work script. And we can also get news and we can get uh, financials and we can get prices. Okay, this is info and this is price. They're different. So it's a financial database. We also have YouTube video data. And then, okay. Um, next transcript, transcript chunk. You can get next chunk of tra transcript. What does it mean, next chunk? Search YouTube videos. Okay. I wonder what kinds of filters is it, it, it can search with. Contact us. And contact the work script team. But actually, can I do that with this plugin here? How do I do this? If you enjoy provide guidance, help. Help with anything, you can use this function. Okay. Quite a mix of functionalities, I would say. But let's see if we can fetch... Um, what is bit and what is its latest price we've tried enough for equity stocks let's try some uh, cryptocurrency see ticker BTC USDT okay It's an exchange rate between two cryptocurrencies instead of crypto Bitcoin versus USD. The actual USD. Okay. Um, cannot get info for Bitcoin. Well. Um. Yeah. I think this paragraph ChatGPT can do also. Hey. Hey, hey, you said you can get historical crypto prices, right? You say you can get uh, crypto prices on a single day. Um, I said latest price. I'm not saying the current price, right? So you should have that latest price available in your historical data time series. But you don't have Bitcoin price. Then how can you say you have crypto price available? Mm -hmm. that's very strange and then maybe we can try a stock name what about a APL if you don't have this one then you have nothing okay finally we've got something back okay see yeah this is the basic information which is sourced from here description of that ticker yes 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 i think it's expanding the description here a bit Oh, we even have the website. Is it provided here? Yes. The home page was provided in the response from that plugin. So we can access Apple's website. As for the latest prices, I apologize, but I currently am able to fetch the price for Apple. Hey, man, you lie here. You lied, definitely. Okay. 
I get it, it's in beta, so everything is in testing mode. So, yeah, it's acceptable. Um, I think I can understand that uh, people are uh, constantly adding functionalities in there and then maybe removing some functions that they think they don't need. And yeah, it's in the development mode and we should be uh, treating this one as, as as it's in the beta mode. Yeah, as we should. Okay, some functionalities are uh, unavailable, even if you see it here. It's a, it's like a placeholder and maybe the description was written in the plugin prompt and then the actual function um, in the API uh, has not been implemented yet. So that's one thing to remember. Okay, mm, let's see what else you can do. YouTube data, right? And get a time. I guess all these things you can you can all achieve them with some uh, free APIs, right? The reason why we are seeing a mix of functionalities provided here, I think the developers are trying to gather all these free APIs together to provide a uh, a, a mix or a combo of uh, functionalities so that you can achieve all these free API tasks in uh, just one plugin. That's why we are seeing this uh, inconsistent across all these functionalities provided here. You, time and then uh, stock prices, crypto prices, and YouTube video. I mean, how could you relay those things together in a plugin, right? I mean, when I want to enable this plugin, what exactly am I going to do? Um, yeah, it's really a mix. But uh, let's try it out. Tell me the time and the latest um, MKBHD video. Two tasks at a time. An empty request. That's for the time. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Pixel tablet impressions. Uh huh. And then we've got a link. Let's check it out whether it is true. Hey, hey. From three days ago. Is it the latest one? It is. Cool. This one, it did work. It did work. Um, cool. Transcript. Let me try this one, the final one. Can you get the transcript of that video? Hey, what's up? MKBHD here. So this is the new Pixel tablet. So this new Pixel tablet is really interesting. I gotta spend about an hour with it before its announcement, blah blah blah. The first part? What do you mean by the first part? Okay, I'm not gonna to verify this one, but sounds right. Sounds like something MKBHD will say with this title, with this video, right? Fair enough. Um, I'm not sure where the first part ends, but let's stop this one. I think this functionality works. The video retrieval part actually works. 
along with the time retrieval parts, but um, the stock prices and crypto prices per, there is some more work to be done there. Okay, this plugin, uh, Vox script. That's it for you. Coming next, this one we've tested before, speech key. Install, shall we? Oh, okay. Let's see. Mm, we need to sign up first, right? Oh, sign up. As you can tell, I came unprepared. Just bear with me for a second. Welcome to Spitchy. Okay, registration successful. Please click, click your email to verify your account. Okay. Guys, bear with me for a bit. Hey, hey. Come in. Please wait. I'm seeing success. Okay. Great. Down. And what should I do? Should I refresh? Okay. Lock in. As you can see, this is the exact process we are going to go through if we are encountering a freshly new plugin, right? They place it, uh, they place the sign up and or login process uh, during the installation phase. So that's what you have to go through. And if that's down, you will have it installed then automatically enabled like what we did just now okay show me what the plugin can do it can convert text to high quality audio advanced text to speech services Mm-hmm. The list of available voices first. Okay, sure. Oh, that's long. Okay, the empty request will be corresponding to the returning of a voice list. That's a long list. Um Let's think about what we would want it to say. Um, I'm gonna say you know, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. OK, 
Okay, let's try those two sentences. That's quite a list. So we can check it out. We've got Norwegian, we've got uh, Japanese, we've got Catalan and uh, Korean, Thai. Okay, we've got uh, also all these European languages and Italian as well, French, Dutch, uh, Chinese, Arabic, Portuguese, Spanish, English. Okay, that's the list here, 38 in total. That's quite a long list, but yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. We've got different voices for male and female and for different languages. Mm. Okay. See this in... Number 37 and number 38 respectively it's running you feed in the the voice ID a speaker ID in this case as well as the text here and then some link will be generated saying audio ready click here to listen to it yes the web api services is triggered and some results was produced Okay, we've got our uh, two results here. Also have a feedback form. Your audio is ready. Listen and share. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Mm hmm Did you guys all hear that? That's a good Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Okay, yeah. Very natural. Very natural. It's a good text to speech plugin here. You can download as we can see. We can play it and then we can download. And all you need is to sign up with speech key. And you can type in uh, text in ChatGPT and ask it to translate it, uh, transform it into a, a voice, a speech, speech key. But I guess you can do the same thing uh, on their website. Maybe it's more straightforward, maybe. Um, yeah. But anyway, it's fun, it's fun to play with. Um, cool. Let's go to the next one, shall we? This one is useful. Yeah, although you can do the same thing on their website, I guess, but still very useful and funny to play with, I have to say. It's a, it's a more natural way to interact with the plugin. See, the order has changed, and then the next one we haven't tried yet is this one, where to report the data i guess the current weather data for cities and airports use um, matter heavy uh, aviation feeds ah yeah so it works for those for those cities and airports using matter aviation feeds i guess All right let's see let's see um should be straightforward. Can you tell me the 
waiter in NYC right now and give me a forecast for the next five days weather report right it should be able to do that JFK if you remember it it retrieved the information from those I guess sensors built um, at the airport that is in the city or maybe nearby the city so they can tell you the weather uh, condition and maybe even a weather forecast for that city. So the current weather at JFK Airport in New York City is as follows. We've got wind, we've got visibility, we've got sky conditions, we've got uh, temperature, um, and then uh, all this other information, right? And uh, we do not have a five-day forecast. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I recommend checking a reliable weather forecasting. Let's see. Then the other than providing current weather info, what else can you do? Hey, 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 I'm asking the plugin to be specific. Hey, I'm gonna stop you there. Data retrieval. Task management. Content generation. Integration with device. Language translation. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, the plugin functionality the concept of plugins oh i thought it's it's talking about a weather forecast i uh, know the weather data plugin but it's not hey chgbt what are you doing mm, how should i phrase it the weather report data plugin What's it again? Weather report data. See, this is the awkward situation you will go into when you're using the plugin. Somehow it just forgets it has a plugin and it goes back to the very primitive ChatGPT. That's something we can't help with for now. Mm. Yep, that should do it. Real time, see real time data. Yeah, there's no weather forecast, and there's no historical data. The weather is specific to airports, right? So it may not perfectly represent the weather condition in the nearby cities or towns. Yep, as I said, right. But still very useful um i'm gonna try another one see if its coverage is wide enough to cover places across the world yes it is 
Tokyo International Airport. There is also sensors there, which detects the wind condition, visibility, temperature, and all this other information. Right? There are no significant changes to expect it in the near future. No significant change. Oh, a cool code. Okay, I guess that fulfills the purpose to test this plugin. A weather, a weather report. Plugin. Not weather forecast, but still very useful, I think. So, crafty clues. Guess the words that the AI craftily clues for you. Add restrictions to make the game more interesting. Install. Okay. Let's start playing. Mm hmm great we're going to play a game called crafty clues it's a word guessing game where i give you a clue and you try to guess the word i'm thinking of the catch is that i can't use the target words or any related words in my clue okay and some additional restrictions can be added to the game um yep Different style, different restrictions, clues can only use emojis, um, cryptic code. Um, I'll go with easy level. Um, easy level. Without. Restrictions for three brands. It's calling empty. <laughs> All right, here is a first clue the famous weapon from the Asian British. And uh, guess the word, it's not just an ordinary weapon, it's known for its magical power is associated with the noble leader. Not just any ordinary weapon. Noble leader, a uh, British weapon. Is it, is it a, I don't know. Does that suffice? Oh, Excalibur. Oh, yeah. That's a very special type of sword. That specific sword. Okay, let's move on to the next round. We've, we've got our second clue here. Popular item, flexible material that is often associated with a certain color and sound. Color and sound. Popular item, water, play area. What could it be? What could it be? Water play area. Uh, I don't know. Rubber duck. Oh, water play area. Ah, color and sound associated with a certain color and sound. It's not that itself will make some uh, sound, but. Uh, it's associated with a sound, so yeah. Fair enough. Rubber duck. The final clue. 
This is a vehicle that is capable of traveling beyond the Earth's atmosphere. It's known for its speed and power. Oh, that one shall be... Um, I don't know which one it is, but... It should be either a rocket or a spaceship. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. That's it, this game. Crafty Clues. Would you like to play again or do something else? What else? Sure. Oh, Trevor, quiz. Storytelling. Learning. The topic you are interested in. Provide information. Answer questions about it. Jokes and riddles. Meditation guide. Wow, wow, wow. Is... Are those what this plugin can do? No, it's not. So who is speaking again? ChatGPT, GPT-4, okay? Yeah, it's not the plugin. It's the GPT-4 behind jumping out. Okay, moving to the next one. Wait, here. Savvy Trader AI. Real-time stock, crypto, and other investment data. Real-time. That's good. What is latest APL price? Let's pick into this. We've got a ticker and we've got prices returned. Highest price, lowest price and previous price changes. Looks good, up to date. We are outside of the trading hours now, so let's check for four. But yes, that's the trading prices of the day. Yeah, we've got also some comments here. looks good and what about BTC Bitcoin is traded 24 7 so we can actually track its current real price hopefully hey we don't have that we don't have that what crypto do you track? You don't have Bitcoin real price. Oh, it's it was not able to retrieve. Is there an error? Not Bitcoin, not Litecoin. Oh, okay. Not available. It seems like that none of these cryptocurrencies are available on that Savvy Trader website. Um, let's confirm it one more time. So you don't have any crypto available
So no real time data, I guess. Then tell me about the latest price of Bitcoin. That's something you should be able to do if you are providing any kind of cryptocurrency information services, right? But not available. Okay, I guess this function is not mature. It's not built into that savvy trader AI yet. So I really talked about some additional investment related information other than the real time data from the stock market and the cryptocurrency market, right? So let's check it out. What else can it provide? What else can the plugin provide? Financial data, current price information, obviously equity only, I guess. Not even commodity and exchange rate. So asset information, company name, market cap, shares outstanding. I think it did it, right, for our uh, Apple trial here, did we? Do we have that? No? Historical data. Yep. As we can see here, for the Apple case, um, yep, just need to wait a bit. For the Apple case, we've got intraday prices, real time prices. So I guess you can um, retrieve this other type of historical prices as well. So no doubt for that asset information let's try this one can you uh, give a brief introduction of aabl company and then since we don't have a real-time demonstration available for the u.s market maybe we could try some other markets for example we can try the Tokyo Stock Exchange and uh, we can ask for do you have real time Sony stock price? Let's just get this one. Um, yep, yeah, Apple introduction. Fair enough. Let's look at this request. Stock, Apple, yeah. So when it returns the when it returns the stock price, actually it actually returns the huh not really right. So it's the same request. It's the same request. The same parameter input. the same parameter input but it's a different it's a different output let's take a look yeah it says it's from this page that we just saw but somehow it it was it was clearer to be able to provide this as a description view in the response here. So I'm guessing on their end, um, there is also a natural language understanding model there as well. Or maybe it's the middleman there, the dialogue manager, uh, which controls the complication between ChatGPT and the plugin. Maybe there is something more uh, than this one, this request to the plug-in so you will receive different information every time and sometimes if we are just talking about the price it will be a brief return this one you get much longer return which includes the asset description that's something uh, worth digging into a bit further but um, yeah 
it will still remain the secret if OpenAI does not reveal it. Let's talk about Sony price. See here, if we are just talking about prices, the return message will be really short. Even if it's quoting the same website, right? APL, and then it's Sony here. Let's take a look. What does it say? 9467 Hmm Is it? 9467 Do you have real-time data from Tokyo Stock Exchange? It's been used to provide financial data. Mm. Okay, I guess it just works with the US market. Can you provide uh, Let's see index. Mm. Not sure why. What real? time data is available this time yes stock prices indexes cryptocurrencies So I guess that's it. Unfortunately, we are not able to test the real-time data function this time. Um, but that should suffice. And we see that it's got a website that provides information of historical data and uh, intraday data. So I believe real-time data retrieval is available indeed. Um, so this is this one. And today we have reviewed five plugins. To, to summarize, we have Walk script which retrieve all the different mix of information including financial information and crypto equity stock and YouTube information to you and then we have um, this one speech key which turns into uh, turns your uh, text message to a sound message a voice message and then you can click to the third-party website and then play and download. We also have the weather report data plugin, which tells you the current real-time, I guess it's kind of a real-time data, of a city which has an airport in it or nearby. And also we have uh, Crafty Clues, right? Uh, a text-based game you can play with ChatGPT, and finally we have the Savvy Trader AI, which provides real-time information on the stock market. And the cryptocurrency real-time data is not available yet. So we got all these five tested today, and see you next time.